Shalom, family. Shalom. Back again. Let me turn my camera on for you guys. Okay, I am back again. And I, I, before I begin, I don't got no good light in here. But before, I, hold on, let me get out of here. Before I begin, I want to talk. Hold on, one second, y'all. One second. I don't got some more hoes. <laughs> okay. I'm coming back. A confirmation from my previous video. Not the one that I just uploaded, but the one um that we did earlier about angels. I said to you guys that I was um, the electricity. I was talking to you guys about the electricity and the current and about how when I go, about the lights flickering around me. And I was saying that I think something is, um, you know, happening with the electricity. And I was saying, I don't know if it was something running through me. So I did read up on, um, you could be a conduit, um, which just means like a ton, you know, a conduit can mean, it means tunnel in the concordant. So just basically like something for something, for energy to travel through. So energy can be traveling through me um, and energy can come in a form of information so, you know, I think it got a lot to do with that. When I'm outside, it's raining, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see. It's not real good lighting in my living room. And um, y'all can see, I don't even got the lights on in there anyway. But I came across this video. Now I watched this guy. His name is... Neb Kamus, I can't pronounce it, but you guys can go subscribe to him. But I'm gonna go back to about the four minute four three three we can start at three thirty. He started saying something that was very interesting. Same thing I was just talking about. The energy, the electricity. He started talking about I'm gonna move this down. Um, he started talking about the Anunnaki and and please, when I'm saying Anunnaki, y'all, do not start getting all extra, a whole that's a cult and all this. Because what a lot of people don't realize is Sumeria was the 10 northern tribes of Israel. And this is what a lot of people don't realize, that when the kingdoms had split, that the northern 10 tribes were being called Sumeria, and the southern tribes were being called uh, Jews, or, you know, they because Judah was leading them, and... Ephraim was leading the northern tribe. And if you don't know that the Messiah bloodline is part northern tribe and southern tribe, this is why he can bring both kingdoms back together, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. If you read about the stick that got Judah and Ephraim wrote on it, bringing the kingdoms back together again, I can't think of exactly what scripture it is, but if you know the scriptures, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, because, first of all, his father was from the tribe of Joseph, which was part of the northern tribe. This is why they, this is why when he came, and a lot of people don't really know this, but this is why when, when he came and they was asking him, was he trying to be the king of the Jews? They was like, no, because they would tell him that you were Samaritan. And I don't know if people read that, but they, but yeah, he was a Samaritan, but he was also a Jew because Mary was from the bloodline of David. His mother, Mary, was from the bloodline of David. This is why the scriptures say the woman's seed will bruise the serpent's head. But a lot of people don't know that the mother carries the bloodline. I've done videos on that called the Holy Grail. You guys can go back and watch it. I'm not going to go into all the scriptures and all of that because I said it on this video. The father carries the name. When you read the scripture, it tell you the household is after the father's name. Every man number after the father's name. 
But it does not say the father carries the bloodline. It says the mother carries the bloodline. And it makes that clear all through scripture. If you read Ezra 10, the men had to put away their foreign wives and the children by the foreign wives because the father does not carry the bloodline. When they were having children with those foreign women, their children were basically whatever the mothers were, not not whatever the father were. And people want to argue up and down until you show them the tons of scriptures of why the father just carries the name and not the actual bloodline. It has to do with mitochondrial DNA. It has to do with mitochondrial DNA, which is unchanging from mother to child. So it's unchanging. Woo. Oh, <laughs> so this is why the mother carries the bloodline. But I'm just getting way off subject here. Uh, but he, so, so the Messiah was a Samaritan. And if you read the scripture before, let me just go to it before I go pull this video up because I don't want y'all to be saying I'm making up the because I never <laughs> heard it before. I don't want that. They said, they told him, you are a Samaritan and have a devil. That's what they said to Jesus. And he said, hold on. He said, you are a Samaritan and have a devil. They was basically saying he was possessed by the devil. So I say, then the Jews answer him, are we right in saying that you are a Samaritan and demon possessed? So they was basically saying that he was demon possessed, but they were saying he had a demon. Now let's go down to the uh, king. I mean, but they were saying he was a Samaritan. So let's go down to the King James Version and say, Then answered the Jews and said unto him, Say we not well that thou say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and have a devil. So Jesus was saying that they wasn't well, and they were saying, You saying we not well, but you a Samaritan, because they were basically feeling like they was better than the Samaritans, and you have a devil. And what did Jesus say? Not one time did he deny being a Samaritan. Not one time did he deny being a Samaritan. He said, he said, whoo, whoo. he said, Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father and ye dishonor me. So he, he was a Samaritan. His father, Joseph, was from the northern tribe and they were being called the Samaritans. And a lot of people don't understand this. They think the Samaritans were some other different people that was, I don't know what they think. They're not reading the scriptures clearly. The Samaritan was the ten northern tribes, and you can pull that up. Uh, was the ten northern tribes, and the the southern tribes were being called Judah. Were being called Judah. See, kingdom of Israel, Samaria, and it show you when the kingdom split in two. According to the Hebrew Bible, the kingdom of Israel was one of two successor states to the former United Kingdom of Israel and Judah. Historians often refer to the kingdom of Israel as the northern kingdom or as the kingdom of Samaria to differentiate it from the southern kingdom of Judah. So this is what it was all about. You know, they was like, you a Samaritan. You can't be king of the Jews because the, the kingdoms were separated. But that was the Messiah's whole thing was bringing the kingdoms back together again. But like some people then, like some people now, people then really didn't know their scriptures, really didn't know what was going on. Okay, so now that we established that the Messiah was a Samaritan and this was the whole thing was about the good Samaritan. And a lot of this uh, is the story that talk about the Samaritan. That scripture is about that is about the Messiah. I can't think exactly what story it is right now, um, but I will do a video on it when I find it. But he was a Samaritan and he was a Jew. He was from North and the Southern tribes. That's why he can bring the two tribes together. I mean, the two um, kingdoms together. Okay, so now that we got that all understood, 
before I talk about the Anunnaki, so now y'all can understand that the Anunnaki is called the Elohim as well. But listen to what this guy has got to say. Listen. Dwelling place. Fear. Receiving your all. Do you follow? The term come up from the absolute suggest using the star gateway. Because later in the verse 105, Mordok states. Whenever you come down from the sky for an assembly, your shadow, our resting place, shall be in it. His home, receiving your war. Come down from the sky, suggests physical trouble as by means of a passenger craft. So once again, by what means was it, was, was this family making this 3,963 mile journey in a flash? This is just food for thought. Holy Tablets chapter 16, tablet 4, 133 con it continues. They, the Elohim Anunnaki. Elohim Anunnaki, now pay attention to what he says next about the electricity and everything. Are an advanced society by far and have surpassed people. An advanced society by far, let's, let's hear what he say. On the surface of the earth in technology, they used power called blast electricity, whose source is from the compression of air and its connection to electricity. This ties in with the shifting of weights, which is the secret to the building of the pyramids. They also get their power from the energy grid that surrounds the planet Earth. A grid is a network of uniformly spaced horizontal and perpendicular lines specifically one used for locating points by means of the system of coordinates. This is one of the main reasons why extraterrestrials want your planet. The, the magnetic field is one of the most valuable assets on your planet speaking so so we can hear that he's talking about the energy the electricity he said they use electricity i mean if you watch this video he talk about how they use the electricity and how um, the Elohim get their energy, the Anunnaki, they get their energy from the Earth's electric, electromagnetic field. Um, so maybe something is happening with that. And that's why the, I'm experiencing the flickering and the lights and things like that. I mean, if you guys want to continue to finish watching this video, I'm sure if you just type in his first name, it should pop up because it's not showing the whole thing. But I just wanted to bring that up. And I had to go through the whole spiel about why the Anunnaki not bad before I even showed y'all what he was saying. And this is what I mean, again, about we got to get off the milk and get on the meat. Because I, I got to do, it's like I got to explain things before I tell them to y'all. Like I got to do a whole spiel and explain stuff because, you know, some people might have the impression that, oh, that's bad. But the Sumerians is bad. Okay, Sumerians is bad, then Israel is bad because the Sumerians were Israel. <laughs> but I really just wanted to point out the elect what he was saying about the electricity and the electromagnetic field. So, yes, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys have anything to add to this in the comments, please do. I'm, you know, learning about this. 
stuff too as we go. I mean, I know I'm, I'm I read the scripture a lot, so I know the scriptures, but I'm you know still learning a lot of other stuff too. Everybody has something to add. You know, people have understanding in different things, and your understanding is something, and my understanding in the scriptures can make an understanding in a whole different way. So, shalom, family, till we meet again.